Look at those clouds. Think it's gonna rain? I was hoping it wouldn't rain today. Maybe cut some hay. Well, man, that looks brutal. That don't look good. I don't know which way it's going. Uh, back that way, it's a little bit broader. That's gonna be a lot of rain. Ooh, lightning, time to go inside. Buenos Dias from the ranch. So it's early, sun's starting to come up. Running a few minutes late, I wanted to sleep. But, but uh, I knew how to get up and get this, uh, start working on this. So what we're doing today, we got a treat for you today. We're doing an install video here. And what we're installing is the rock block. Um, it's made up in South Dakota by uh, Hoarder Farms. Um, I think it's John Hoarder, I think. Yeah. Uh, what this does, it's it's a kit. I got a universal kit right here. And what it is, I started I started placing things where I wanted them uh, last night just to get ready for today. And the objective of this, let me get back here to one of the other pages to show you, is that you have a another uh, tarp deal sitting in front of the factory one that comes on the MoCo. So what the rock block's intention is to do is to stop rocks from shattering windows. So last year we had this one shatter and uh, we got that one replaced. It wasn't replaced right by, by the dealer who did it because there's a lot of stuff that's messed up on there. I said I'll go back and fix all that. And this year in a video you saw a few videos ago, we shattered that, that, uh, that one over there, right? So that one we shattered also uh, this year. So I want to prevent that. I, I don't want to lose this one again and what happens is rocks hit in here and i'll go around here and show you what happens <coughs> and the rooster's still alive can't believe it and the rooster on the other side is challenging them to something i don't know what but uh i won't say that <laughs> but so what happens here you give me the moco here is these things spin really, 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 really fast. And uh, when they find a rock out there in the field, especially the small, it's not the big rocks, it's the small rocks. And the small rocks, it hits them, picks them up and chunks them, right? Well, when you're going pretty quick across that field, this is usually pulling in like this. So you can see right there, perfect. Perfect spot for a rock to fly right underneath that. And they're always going up in an upward trajectory. Because you know they're always going that way because these things are lift or, or lifting when they hit, and um, so what the rock block does is it sticks out here about seven or eight inches, and there's a bar that goes across here. It's in the kit over there, and of course we'll put one here, all right, somewhere in here, and then the other one will ride this edge so we can open this up. So we have marked the lines I screwed up the first time. So I marked those out, so I got three holes I'm going to put in here, and this third one is going to go on this end. Something like that, to where I can still open and close this hood. So, pretty pretty cool, huh? Um, and I'm say there's a bar that goes across here, and there's another uh, mat, heavy mat, heavier than the one that's on here, that goes in front. So what that does is that one, this one's being sucked in by what's going on right here. This thing creates some vacuum also uh, when it's when it's going full speed. And this right here is pretty flimsy. It's not very strong. And um, so I'm going to go back around the other side. What the rock block does, it gives that second one in front of there about, they sort of say six to eight inches. So all that came in that box. And there it is. You can see right here, this thing's a lot thicker. So it's not going to flex as much. 
got pre-drilled holes to go in there. So what we have to do is we have to match it up. This is a uh, 13 foot kit. I don't, that's only like 10 foot across the front of that. So we got some cutting to do also. Um, but anyway, what I like is it gives you a ton of hardware. So you got different options for mounting or how you want to do it. Uh, so here's the bars here. Then there's a coupler bar here that connects them together. Connects those two bars together in the center. Then what you got to do is decide if you want to trim both ends, one end, or whatever, because you know it is 13 foot long with both those bars together. So these kind of sit in here, and they bolt everything together. So we're gonna start working on that. We're gonna go ahead and drill holes. I got them marked, and uh, we'll get that started. I think what I'm gonna do is put these bars together first. <clears throat> so I read instructions, by the way. You know, then you read them, you interpret them, you say, okay, I can do it that way, or maybe I need to make a change. So what we gotta do is we gotta join these together. In the instructions right here, we join these, join two ends together inside of the, inside of this joiner. Uh, bracket that's right down there and bolt all that together so I'm gonna pull pull them out lay them out here on the concrete get them in there and we'll figure out what uh, the hardware we need on there and then we'll get socket stuff we got all we got the tools sitting over there right now See, this is a pretty heavy-duty kit by the way it's not light so and like I said, made in South Dakota. Um, so it is American made. And so, if you're wondering. Paper I need to save. This makes good, uh, good paper for starting my smoker for working bees, actually. Same on both ends. Looks like one well, of different holes over here. So I think this side goes in there. <coughs> we'll figure it out here just a minute. Now, the other end of it, actually. Maybe we'll try to unroll this instead of doing like we did on the first one. Let's see, that worked out better. All right, lots of paper. That's good. All right. So if I look over here, so it's the end. So it's the end with uh, this hole and these two holes joined together. So if we move. together like this let <coughs> me get the hardware out so what happens here Work. 
that's pretty good. Pretty good. So this is the ones that we're gonna be using here. Yeah, that's better. So let me get, let me get the camera a little bit closer over here where y'all can hear me. So. Lower y'all down here a little bit. So what we got here is I was putting the wrong ones on. These are three eighths. So my brain's not working yet. I don't got enough uh, dust pepper me yet. Let's look out here in a minute. But these are the half inch bolts. I don't know what I was thinking. Half inch washer. Okay. So, got that going. Yeah, let's find the other bigger washers. There's one. One more. There's that one. Yeah, the sun's gonna catch us real quick today. So we got that one. See, but I, I really don't want to go mow any more hay until I get this on. Yeah. Windows are expensive, and you can't even buy them right now. If I had to put plastic on there, like on the other window right now and not be able to see, that would be bad. We'll tighten those up here in a minute. That guy on there, so that's to get well. Still got more bolts, so we got to put all these in. Okay, crap, crap about that. Uh, we got that part done. So, what we got to do, this guy's here, go like this. Try this guy. It's it's little, it's stubby, but should work. That'll work. Before. See, we're 
we'll get as much as then we can this morning. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it all. And then we'll come back this afternoon and try to finish it. Even though I need to be mowing hay, I, I'm not going out until I get this on, so. We're going to, have to cut some off. So that's going to go there. So, so yeah, we're going to definitely cut some. Um, another thing we're going to do, got to get some C clamps up here and. Uh, and everything so originally i was thinking about putting taking this bolt off putting it right there but i think i'm going to move it over so i'm gonna make that much of a difference <laughs> sorry and i wasn't gonna put it right here take this bolt off and drill another hole through but just moving in a couple inches over ain't gonna hurt nothing and i was wanting to get close to the edge as possible but i need to be able to get in here this to raise this hood um, so i'm gonna move this over some i just have to remeasure this and uh Get it right next to this uh, bolt right here as possible. Get it squared up a little bit. So it's not that far between there and there. The long run is over here. This one, see it has to sit on its edge. So I'm over here like this. So those holes are right there. I gotta make sure I'm not blocking its edge. So it's gonna be a pretty tight fit in there. But I can get that down. That's not a problem. There is a gap in there usually. So I can get this one in. Um, and we'll probably have to go ahead and do this one. I mean, I go. I probably go ahead and bolt them all in and just get you know get the bar up here and then cut down what I need to. It might be easier that way. Um, so I think I'm going to start these holes. There's some self-tapping metal screws that go with this kit, but you got to start this hole uh, for it because this is some. You know, beefy metal in here. This thing is not built cheap, by the way. Uh, the Moco's not. I mean, it's it's a pretty solid machine. So uh, we'll get that done here in a minute. All right. So what we got it says he's a five sixteenths, and uh, so we got a five sixteenths drill bit. I'm gonna screw it just a little bit right here. Go right on the edge. Thick metal in there. Ooh, I'm in the edge. That's why. Crap. That might not work there. Crap. Let's try this hole. We need two bolts on here. Smell the paint burning, John Deere green. Whew. I can actually smell that. That's one of the few things I've been able to smell. or not where it's sitting at but another piece of metal comes through there and I really don't have a good drill for that we got two
So I think we can definitely get those two. I'd like to get that other one in though. It's a fairly easy kit to put in. So it's just working through it how you want it on your machine. So what I want to do is test now, make sure I'm going to be able to close this. Yep, I can still close that, so that's good. All right. So that works. What I want to do is do the other end down there now, and then we'll do the center. I'm going to save the center for last, because I'll probably do is set, the, set it into the bar and uh and then do it from there so we'll take all this stuff back around over there including my eyes my close-up eyes what we'll do here <clears throat> Two holes. I was gonna put two holes on this one, so it works with two holes. self-tapping bolts or nice yeah tapping not drilling but tapping let me get these started and then we'll measure Tape measure out, remeasure real quick. <laughs> I'm go check the other side real quick. Be right back. So what I'm doing is I'm coming right here, I'm hitting against there, and I'm saying to the edge, which is going to be the where the mat's at, I want 7 inches. So I'm breaking the difference between 6 and 7. So that's close right there. That's pretty good. 
So the other side is the exact same measurement actually, so that works. Just want to show you that so you know where, where, where I'm looking at. When I look at six to seven inches, I'm looking right here because this is going to be where the edge of the mat's at on this on that bar that that bar goes through there. The mat bolts up to it, so I want it here. So it says between six and seven inches. I mean six and eight, so I'm gonna put it right at seven. All right, that's in place, man. That's solid. I like it. This is it's not a hard kit once you understand what you're wanting to do. Um so yeah, pretty good. I like it. Uh, we'll go around here now set that bar in place see what uh, what we need to do over here so So what I could probably do is go ahead and bolt that one in and measure this guy. Just I could just mark these holes and drill them right through here, really. Um, this one's got to be cut, so we know we got to do that. So what we'll probably do is we'll drill holes here first. Just drill through here and set that in place, and then we'll come here and cut on the edge. Um, that'd be pretty easy to do. We got saws off with metal blades. They'll definitely take that out pretty quick. So I don't want that out there because I won't be able to get through no gates at that point. Um, so this is a universal kit, so it works with up to 13 foot wide, I believe is what it is. Uh, but what I want to do first is bolt this one in so I have everything lined up properly. We got a problem here. These holes. We're gonna be able to put one bolt in here. Yeah. So we'll put one in here. It's only made for one, so you don't need one. Okay. I believe that should be in here. <coughs> so it should be where these come into play. The, the longer ones here have something on your lens there should go right through here well it should be just like that it shouldn't take much to hold this thing on there I mean everything's constructed real heavy duty on this so it's really really well made thought out I mean, I highly recommend this one thing in my video that you probably already seen when that window got shattered, a few minutes in that, into that video after that, you probably hear me say, I should have bought the rock block, because I knew about this last year. And I researched this last year after I broke my other window. I didn't act upon it. And so, and now you know the outcome of that. It was, it was a 9 16th, by the way. These are uh, lock nuts on here. Oh, I need a deep socket. Okay, got a deep socket now. I don't know if y'all knew you could do this with a, uh, let me lower it down a little bit so you can see this. So, with the Milwaukee tools, on. okay, I changed battery there. So what I was saying over here <coughs> was that on a, on these uh, battery socket wrenches, 
Um, what you can do is once you get it tight, that's what it's going to do is just keep pre keep pulling the trigger, and you can actually tighten this like a regular socket wrench. So I don't know if y'all knew that, but a little tip there. So, <coughs> so that one's in place. So now we need to go and uh, figure out. See, this is flush. We need to make sure that one's flush before we drill the hose. So that one's flush right here. So we go to the other side and make sure it's flush before we drill the hose into the other one. So we'll go around there. Somebody's got a chicken gaggling and whatever going on over there. Cows are at the lake. They're about to go down to the trees because it's getting hot already. <coughs> so what I'm saying is make sure they're flush. Talking about right here. So we gotta make sure this one's flush. So we can, that's pretty good right there. And then what we'll do is we'll come down here. Put this up there. And we're gonna line this guy up where we want it. So we wanna make it flush too, right? So everything's flush. So then what I can do is I can mark these holes. And then I can drill it. And then we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and get that. Dude, we're gonna here this time. So y'all can see what I'm doing, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Mark these holes where we want them. Put two in here. We'll mark that ho ho that way we can see it. Ho ho. <laughs> That's funny. That'll probably get me banned from YouTube. <laughs> Find my drill. Oh, I see my drill. It's way over there. <clears throat> so, so then, I'll probably try to hold y'all so I can see this. But so I got this hole and that hole to drill. So I do is I come in here. Let me make sure I'm in it centered. Thick. There it goes. And then we'll get the next one. go so now get that out of the way so we move this back over here push this in to where we're flush make sure we got holes that line up I think we're pretty good right there so there's another thing we're gonna do we're gonna drill a hole in here too uh, to run bolts through so we'll put one in there, we're going to drill here, to put a bolt through there, so. That might be too big. I don't know, it might be about right. I think I'm going to put it on this side. I'm going to put that last mat right here, last mat bolt there. So I can put it here. Okay. Well, let's try that, that'll definitely make it work. Where I do that, though. Some more Dr. Pepper.
Oh, I forgot to show y'all. Video I did yesterday was watering trees. The moon was up. Look at that. Let me see if you can see that. The moon's still up there over the house. It's right, right in there somewhere. So that's pretty cool. Which yesterday when I came out, I did it. You saw it was more early when I saw the moon in the background. And it was still lit up pretty good uh, from the sunrise coming up. So, anyway. Let's get this drilled out. At least get this mounted. So I don't have to go all the way through, so. See if I find some oil. I'm bad I stopped putting away because of time. Because I have to get to my real job, my regular job. teacher TC pit see if she'll be happy right now see me using oil on a drill bit he taught me, he taught me a lot in ag in ag mech ag shop and uh, mr. Jeter also mr. Neil Jeter very good ag teacher too so appreciate those guys and of course I've worked at a mining company for seven years Let's see if we can get all the way through. Voila, we're in business. So this is probably the last thing I'm gonna get done on here this morning because I got I got my job I have to worry about too. So my job comes first on everything I do out here. I'm not a full-time rancher farmer, so. Yeah. Anybody that's a full-time rancher farmer, well, rancher especially, I don't know how they do it, because Ain't much money. Well, there's no way I could do it full time right now. 
and not have any kind of other supplemental income. But anyway. All right, so it's close to 7 p.m. It still feels like 105 out here. Real high humidity. I think air temperature is around 94. But it's like an 11 degree additional heat index with humidity. What I did, I could not find those self uh, drilling or what they're called uh, uh, bolts. So, what I did is I went ahead and used some of the extra stuff I have in here. I used one of these and each one of these. Uh, two flat washers and a lock nut so it's on there so all we got left to do now is uh, we're going to cut this let's go get my uh, sawzall here in a minute with the metal blade on it but we also need to go ahead and drill a hole here so we can run a bolt through here i'm probably I'm doing this one because i don't want to interfere with this hole right here which is part of the map goes through there so we'll drill a hole here first get this set uh, with a, uh, I think it's a three, uh, three eighths bolt that's longer. Uh, it should be, should be one of these, I believe. Or that's a bigger bolt, maybe. That's the same thing. Yep. Same thing. So we'll use one of these in here. We'll go in this hole right here. So we'll go ahead and drill that out now. And, uh, then we will start putting it together. We got plenty of uh, stuff in there to do that with. So, what I would do is come in here. I'll just put y'all right here so you can see the drill. Now I gotta find the right drill bit. Cause I don't wanna go too big. But I think I needed the big bit, I believe. Yeah, I think I needed this one to make it all work right. I think that's what I used down there. So, uh, I need oil. Where do I leave the oil at? Like I say, we're almost done. It's just, what's been so hard about this? I mean, anything right now during the summer when you're out in the sun like this, I mean, it just gets hot. So we just have to fight through it right now. The sun's going to start going down some, which will get the sun off of us. Still, the heat's going to be there. But uh, so, anyway, let's get started on drilling. Make sure we keep this bit a little bit lubricated so we don't totally burn it up. Almost out of oil, that's not good. We're start yeah it's coming through there we go hey we got the bit off too yay oh one swing all right so now easy peasy from here what we'll do is we'll take this Washer, run that through there. Washer, lock nut, come on the bottom side. Do a 9 16 So I switched to using something a little bit more handle on it.
pretty good. Alrighty. So that's on. So what I'm gonna do is I need to go get my sawzall. And then we'll come down here and cut this. Sawzall's over in the over another spot, so I need to go get it. So we'll come here and we'll just slice right there. Knock that off. And uh put the uh drape on or whatever you want to call it and we'll be set so one thing i will say uh, if i would have read the instruction manual a better on the parts list i would have known that there was only two of these uh threaded uh self-threading uh, or four of these self-threading uh, bolts not six so i would have caught that at the beginning i would have known to you know i need to do what i did so that was my error it's not the not the manufacturer's error, you know, uh, rock block, uh, you know, John, John Horton is a really good guy. You know, he, you know, any questions you got, you can call him. He'll tell you, he'll send you photos. So of other people, what they've done to get these things on, like it is a universal kit. So you just got to kind of look and say, okay, I can do this. I can do it this way. You know, works better on my machine this way, the way I use my machine. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, you know, no fault. Sorry, no fault to him. I mean, I need to read better. So, <clears throat> hopefully, you're safe right there. So we're gonna we're gonna cut this guy. We're gonna cut it right here. I got my uh, spider uh, sawzall blade on for metal. So we're gonna see how this thing works today. <laughs> spider blade man that's freaking awesome i mean look how thick that is and it went it went through it like butter that's an awesome blade that's the first time i've used my metal blade from spider uh it's a spider s-p-y-d-e-r man good stuff that's their extreme metal cutter oh my gosh i mean it went right through that awesome that was easier than i thought it was gonna be I got I got some uh, I got a lot of money right here by the way, knowing metal prices today. <coughs> we can use that somewhere else for sure. Um, so anyway, that makes everything a little bit easier. One thing I did do wrong here, I probably should have put this bolt here because I gotta get something in here. Oh, you're not looking. Should have put this bolt here because I gotta get something in there. So we might have to drill that out and move that. <laughs> Uh, let me put a bar. <laughs> We're going to find out here in a minute. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention on that one down there, but not on this one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill that hole. Okay. All right. I feel more comfortable now. I can get that, that, uh, that in there. So that'll work. So the next thing we have to do is roll out a mat that goes on here line up some holes we're going to do a cut on it i already know that because it's 13 foot and this is let's see here how many feet we got on this guy should be around 10 i think yeah right at 10 foot so you can see right there upside down 10 so 10 foot is what our width is here. Um, this is what I expected. That's about yeah, that's about three foot we cut off, 36 inches. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is lay that out and uh, start putting that into place. So what we'll do? We'll come over here. Try to get this one laid out. Pretty close. So, what this requires, I'm gonna no more. So, 
So what this requires, what we do is we match, there's holes on here on the mat, there's holes, right? We match them up with here. And then what we do is we put these guys, this with this. So this is gonna go through the front and then we'll go on the back side with this. So I don't think we need washers also. I don't think we do. I think it's just, we've got these are those uh, nuts with the uh, type of washer built into it. So I think we should be okay there. So that's what we got to do now. I can move some of this out of the way so we can set stuff up here. Since I already got it rolled out past there, we'll start on this end and put it up there. And we'll we'll dry fit it first because we still got to cut that end down there. And uh, I mean, I could actually I could measure ten foot and cut it. So it might be easier to cut it down here. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna measure a ten foot and see where we are in the whole line. Line up. We'll be able to tell real quick if we're truly at ten foot. Just gotta be laying down. So 10 foot's right here. So 10 foot's right over here. So what I could do is use this metal piece, line it up on there, and let's see where we are with the hole. I think we're pretty close. To that hole looks like. Yeah, we are actually. So if I look at this. When I look up there. I think we're, we're pretty good. We're pretty on. So I think we're good to cut here. I think. Uh, let's turn it this way. I think I can just cut that pretty easily, actually. It don't have to be straight, straight. I mean, it's not going in my house or anything. So, let's so protect the rock, uh, rocks from hitting. I mean, it looks pretty straight to me. It's right at 10 foot. So, all we gotta do now, famous last words, all we gotta do now, right? Is we gotta cut this guy, right? So, we're gonna score it this way. this out of the way set this back in place put my weight on it which is quite a bit so that's good Crooked on the end back. That's okay. Oh, over there. So, now it's just a matter of taking that last piece off. There we go. We should be good. Another famous last words. we can do start lifting this up in place I can actually start on this end now so we're gonna do that let's get some of this out get over here I got a lot of washers so I might use these washers anyway
I don't want to use those washers. That's going to cause a problem, maybe. Got a lot of them. Okay, battery went out. Also, when I picked up the GoPro, it was very, very hot. So I moved it over here in the shade of the tractor to get it out of that direct sunlight. You know, that sun is, is, is warm. This other one up won't be done. This is the rock block, and so if you look here, you put this guy down. Uh, we have to do this. All right. So you can see right here, we got some space in between here and here. So this right here is real, real flimsy, right? And when that mower's running and you're going across that field, this is being sucked in here. This one right here is a lot heavier duty. And so what this job is to do is to stay more, more up and down, right? Stay, stay level. And what that means is that as you're going through the field, you know, the other one's pulled back. When you hit a rock, it doesn't have the big rocks that get you, it's the small rocks, right? So that small rock gets in there, that knife picks it up and slings it. And I guarantee you, the majority of the time, 99% of the time probably, the rock, when it when that knife picks it up the way those knives are made, it's gonna go up. And that's why it takes out windows, right? So like I said, we've had the back one already replaced last year. This one now we're waiting on with uh, supply chain issues, shortages of everything everywhere. Nobody wants to freaking work. Uh, we got glass problems. We can't get glass 
once I get done with this, uh, uh, cutting this hay and stuff, uh, we got some, we were working on some, uh, plexiglass over here. It was just a little bit thin. It started cracking on us. I got a, uh, a little bit thicker sheet that I bought. I got enough to make two so we can experiment with one. If something happens, we got another one. So, but anyway, that's the rock block. If you, if you think about it, really, if I just worked hard at it and it was in the shade where I'm not out in the middle of the sun trying to do this, this is less than an hour project. Um, it's simple. They give you good instructions. And, you know, if you, if you have tractors or equipment, you, you know how to be creative. You know how your machine works. You know where you can mount stuff. So, you know, we got two bolts here. We got this is holding this bar all the way across. We got this splice point here. Then over to here, there's two on this one also. Okay. And then again over here, right? So two bolts holding that and then the bar on the end. So easy project. I think um, we got that one, didn't we? Yeah, did we? Yeah, I got it. Um, I'll find out. I did. <laughs> I might have forgot to do that one. But uh, anyway, we'll get it next time if there's something wrong with it. But it's, it's not a hard project. Like I said, it's just you know, 105 out here. The sun's going down now. Look at that. It's a beautiful sunset. All right. I mean, that just tells you that uh, when you get a sunset that pretty, that means it was very hot. Let me get this ladder out of the way so you can truly appreciate this sunset. I mean, I showed you a sunrise this morning. Sunset this evening. Oh my God. Look at that. That is awesome. If you don't look at that and realize there is a God that created all this, I, I don't know what else will convince you. But there it is. And look at, look at there, shorthorn cows. Yeah, beautiful shorthorns. So we, we'll, uh, once it cools off, we'll show, we'll do some work with their cattle. Uh, we'll wait till probably October or so, September maybe. And we're gonna have to run them in. We have to get everything cleaned up. We have to run them in, give them shots, give them all the vaccinations, deworm them and everything. But you know, I don't work cattle when it's hot. I don't even want to go out around them really it's hot because I don't, I don't want them getting nervous. I mean, well, they're not gonna get nervous. They're, they're shorthorns her ex show cattle but uh you know, i want them to be happy they're living good lives out here these, these cattle are so spoiled it's unbelievable uh so i'm rambling on now because i'm enjoying this sunset i mean it's incredible and i'm happy this is on i'm happy this is done um, it's, a, it's a good project uh, i'm losing some weight doing this too by the way sweating out here i need to lose weight so that's good um, yeah. very good so uh see the next video uh the next one after this one will be more hay mowing <laughs> i know y'all get tired of that but we got so we got some fields to go do we got one place a little teaser on this and i think the it's, it's got a lot of johnson grass and stuff on it and i think the johnson grass is close to eight foot tall uh, which is going to be up to see if it's eight foot it should be up to here on my tractor i think somewhere around in there so eight foot tall johnson grass man that's gonna produce some hay i'm excited about that and uh, moco loves johnson grass by the way it just eats it up spits it out so, look forward to that video coming anyway uh good night god bless people like I said, like, subscribe, share. That's all I ask. Enjoy.